So a couple weeks ago, I was hacking on my target and what I actually have found is I found a pretty interesting GitHub repository and quite a lot of vulnerabilities from the developer, which just shows you that some developers don't have an idea about security or basically testing what they're actually coding. So the first vulnerability, and this is a very, very bad vulnerability, is that the forward slash Chama endpoint allowed you to register an administrator account without being logged in or without any authentication. So anyone could just literally hit the forward slash Chama endpoint and you basically could register an administrator. I actually have a video from this, so I'm going to play it on the screen. Right, so the next basically step to actually find something for your target is just to do GitHub Recon, right? So if you come to GitHub and you look for your target, let's say my target is Hacker1. Now, yes, Hacker1 is not the best example because as you can see, you have like reports, you have the documentation from Hacker1, which is kind of the stuff that we're not interested in and that is a bit of a problem. However, if your target is not as popular, let's say that your target is maybe Dyson, you probably won't have as much stuff because Dyson is more of a product service, so they sell hoovers and stuff. So you probably won't get as much result because I'm pretty sure you will find some interesting stuff because as I said developers don't really have an idea and what they're actually posting to the internet they just post and hope for the best. Another problem with this developer was that he was leaving keys or he didn't actually have a clue what is an actual private key or a secret key. In this case as you can see I have found this now this is not a full key obviously I just redacted it but what this key allowed me to do is allowed me to log in to a service called Pusher. Now what Pusher was responsible for it was an external service that allowed you to upload and basically host your own images. Technically it wasn't that big of a deal but imagine it had some kind of confidential maybe image some maybe some passports and stuff like that for verification purposes so that obviously is a big problem. Now it is actually very very common for developers to leave keys everywhere. Right so the lesson for bug bounty or overall penetration testing for today is to always look for exposed secrets or exposed stuff because as I said developers don't really have an idea in what they're doing or they just don't think that anyone's actually going to be looking over their shoulder. Right and that'll be it for this video. If you want to see some exclusive content from my channel make sure to leave a subscription down below. You can do that by the premium subscriptions and there will be posted some premium content which I can't publicly post. It has to be there. Peace.